Good afternoon, sir. I am Carol Alpiaza. I am Rex Sanchez Tuya. I am Jay Bukita. And we are from the University of Southern Mindanao, taking the course of Bachelor of Physical Education. So, we are here to ask you some questions that are related to our course. And this first question is, how many years of experience you have in teaching? Mm, my experience is, magtuyos na ako dito na dito. I graduated last June 2020 in University of Southern Indiana, Bachelor of Physical Education, major in Sports, Wellness and Management. Then, I earned a education in the Center of Indiana Colleges. No, I graduated in 2020. Dahil yung graphic opportunity na mag-aaral doon, tapos ay nag-aaral ako dito, kumalag, yun. Then, nag-exam ako nung last September, October 2, sa last examination. Kumakalaman ko lang yung mga sasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasas
ano tayo, so marami kami hindi kanda ng activities para naman hindi maano yung mga skills, mabalik yung mga skills sa mga bata, tapos mental health nila, kasi nga kung sa ano tayo dati, COVID-19 so, yun nga, may mga activities talaga na ginawa So, um, for the final question, sir uh, ano po yung masasabi mo or mga advice mo sa mga katulad po namin na mga, mga future PA educators po? Um, advice sa inyo pa. So, yun nga, as a uh, siyempre, napagdaanan po yung pinagdaanan uh, nyo, as a physical education student o so, to be a math teacher, you need to learn na marami kayong dapat alam kung ano yung kung ano ba talaga yung sa loob ng math eh, o kung ano ba talaga yung dapat natin gawin para sa future natin as a physical educator. Kasi nga ako, di ba dati, we are focusing on sports lang kami. So now, parang ang hirap mag-adjust na ikaw, ikaw earlier ka lang, tapos mag-tour pa ng mate, which is hindi mo yun siya na napagdaanan ng college school kasi na focus na, focus na kami doon sa sports at sa physical education. So, sa inyo, um, kaya din na kaya na rin niya kasi uh, uh, built-up talaga, parang tumbaga through talaga ng education. So, ang ano nga dyan, mag-aral lang talaga kung mag-aral, uh, mag-read about sa mga activities, at mga, mga sport, mga guidelines. Kasi, kung baga, kung mag-aaral siya na kayo, ma-apply na talaga yung mga yun. Kasi, hindi natin ilang kung saan tayo yung tapon, kung saan tayo yung nagay, as a teacher, kasi mga time man tayo. So, dapat, mag-aaral lang talaga kung ano yung, kung ano yung, para may bala tayo ba kung mag-turo na tayo. So, yun na. Ano yung talaga? Pray, pray na. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. That's all, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Good day, ma'am. I am Florence Che Alojado Urbano, a third-year student taking up Bachelor of Physical Education at the University of Southern Mindanao, Kabantan, Campus. One of our activities is to interview a teacher. By the way, ma'am, what is your name? My name is Rachi Jane Onyas. How many years of experience have you been teaching? Actually, uh, six months ago. What is your bachelor degree? Bachelor of Physical Education major in Sports Physical Education. As a PE and health teacher, how physical literacy is being integrated in your topic? For me, as a PE, since the PE is whole, not just uh, physical education, but also the health and uh, music and art. So, as a teacher, as a PE teacher, uh, physical literacy is, for now, the ako ang na, nahimo is na implement na ko siya by uh, explaining what is really physical activities and paano siya ka na guma apply between the subject to the subject and formulating your learning objective based on the lifetime of physical activity what challenges you have encountered to be honest when we talk about challenges sa physical education is Grabe siya siya ka, challenge, ka challenging. Why? It is because kana gong iya ha. Physical, uh, uh, physical education na siya, but broad ka ayo siya. So, ang challenges na nakuha na ko is paano na ko siya i-implement or i-hatag na learning sa students aside from uh, aside from the application. Okay, ma'am. As a physical educator and health educator, what does it take to be a good example of the concept move to learn, learn to move? Move to learn, learn to move. Ah, uh, kung magapa ko sa sa Mexico's minsan incorporate sa ano, a sound mind and a sound body. When you are not ah uh, physic ah uh, mentally healthy, you are not physically healthy. So as a PE teacher, kailangan yung pagkita mo po na you are mentally healthy and you are physically healthy para maingon nila ay si mga inani. So dapat inani po niya because nakita na mo sa iya kaming inani. Okay, ma'am. What innovation you have made in integrate your topics in the concept of move to learn, learn to move? Um, my innovation is kanang dinapuan na nako sila na minapakita ra jud nako kung unsa ko nga na siya especially kay ang application mo gud karon sa kwang binatudlo at is first aid. So dapat ipakita jud nako kung unsa kong ginatudlo uh, nako then gina-apply pud nako siya sa para sa ilaha para mak para pa kwang gud kanang Learning. Ang learning nila is patuloy na patuloy lang to choose. Okay, ma'am. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and thank you for your time. Okay.